Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 19th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1. Number 19 reads in triangle JKL, cosine of K equals 24 over 51. And angle J is at a right angle. What is the value of the cosine of L? So here's a tip. Anytime there's something you could draw, just draw it. So we're going to draw a triangle. And we're going to label, it says that J is the right angle. So I'm going to label J. I'm going to make the little uh, box that they always make. And <clears throat> cosine of K, we'll put K over here. We'll put L over here. Cosine of K, remember, so ka, that's an A, ka, toa. So we're looking here, that's a cosine, which is adjacent over a hypotenuse. Okay, that's a terrible H, but you get the point. Adjacent always is the side right next to, but hypotenuse is always the longest side. So I know the hypotenuse might be right next to our <clears throat> K as well, but the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So adjacent in that case is going to be 24, hypotenuse is 51. So now if we're looking at cosine of L. We need adjacent over hypotenuse. We don't know what that angle is over there. So how are we going to figure it out? Anytime you have two sides of a right triangle and find a third side, you use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras was a really interesting guy. It's almost like a religious sect he had, but it was like math stuff too. Look him up. So anyway, um, <clears throat> cosine of L is going to equal adjacent, which in this case is x over hypotenuse which in this case is 51. We gotta solve for that side of x. What is the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Make sure that your c is your hypotenuse. The a and the b don't matter. So I have 24 squared. That's really off size, but 24 squared plus b squared equals 51 squared. So now if I subtract 24 squared from both sides, then we get that b squared equals 51 squared minus 24 squared. And so you could literally just plug 51 squared minus 24 squared into Desmos. Let's see it. Boom, there it is. I plugged it in already. I cheated. Uh, 51 squared minus 24 squared is 2,025. So if we go back to where we were, um, we've got that. <clears throat> b squared equals 2025. Now if we take the square to both sides, now if you're not sure exactly how to use Desmos, we'll dive in a little bit. Um, down here to the bottom left, there's a calculator. You could use your keyboard as well, but what I could do is I could just hit enter up there. So it's gonna bring me down to the next screen. We needed the square root of 2025. And there you go, it's 45. Okay, so let's go back to our thing. So in this case, B equals 45. So X is 45. So what is the cosine of L? The cosine of L is adjacent, which is 45. It's a side next to, but not the hypotenuse, over hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? It's 51. Now, on this SAT, you have four, uh, five spots of bubble. Four spots was paper and pencil one. So you could literally just bubble in 45 over 51 and you're done. That's what I would recommend you do. If you really wanna put the decimal in, you could throw it into Desmos, but completely unnecessary. Um, 45, and now I'm using my keyboard, divide by 51, and you could bubble in 0.8823, and then you're done, 0.8823. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with uh, trigonometric functions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments side. We have to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.